Hi guys, welcome to my art room. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these beautiful flower mobiles. You can make yours with flowers or you can use any kind of hanging shape. Using the salt dough recipe outlined in the other YouTube video, you can create a mobile by making multiple small shapes and then hanging them from a branch or stick. This flower, I've rolled a ball of clay in my hands, flattened it out, and now I just divide the edges with a pencil or butter knife and then sort of smooth them out with my fingers. I like to work on top of a cookie sheet when I'm doing this because then when I bake it, I can just stick the cookie sheet in the oven. Now to make the middle of the flower, I'm just gonna roll out a ball of clay, add a little bit of water to the middle so it will stick, and then add some texture with this pencil. And don't forget the hole in the top so you can hang it. Make sure that the hole is big enough for you to put your string through after. It will shrink a little in the oven, so make the hole big enough. For the next kind of flower, I rolled out a coil, and now I'm gonna divide it into five pieces for the petals. And now I am straightening out the ends of each of these little petals. And then I'm gonna pinch the end to make them into very short little raindrop carrot shapes. And then squish them a little bit flat to create nice petals. And then for the middle, I'm just gonna make a ball. So just squish them flat with my fingers line them up how I want them, and then squish this ball, add a little water to the middle, and press it down. Now you can take your pencil or tool to add some texture, and then poke the hole in the top and set it aside for later. I always set it on a little bit of flour so it doesn't stick to the cookie sheet. Now I'm gonna make a leaf, so I take a bigger piece roll it into a ball and then a little longer and then I flatten it and pinch the ends. Oh, looks like I forgot to put the hole in this one so I'll add it now. And then back to my leaf. So make sure that you squish the ends, make it a nice leaf shape and then you can use your pencil or tool to add some texture. And here's another leaf for you to watch. And another flower, just so you can make sure to see how to do it. When you make your mobile, you should use at least five pieces hanging from the stick. You can use more if you want, but you should use at least five. When you're done, you'll bake these in the oven at about 225 to 250 degrees for close to two hours. Make sure you have parent supervision. Also, check them around every 30 minutes to see if they've hardened yet. When they're all the way hardened, you can take them out to let them cool and then start painting. Now,
Now choose the colors that you want to paint your pieces. Make sure to rinse your paintbrush between colors so they stay nice and separated. And then wait for the color and the paint to dry all the way before assembling your mobile. After you're done painting them and they've dried completely, you can begin to assemble your mobile. To make the yarn go through the holes more easily, I wrap the end of it with a piece of tape and then cut a little angle at the end so the tip of it is pointy and you can push it through the holes. The holes that I made are a little bit small, so they're pretty difficult to get the string through. So hopefully when you make yours, you make the holes a little bit bigger and you can use a different type of string. I went and found a stick outside. Now I'm gonna tie all of the flowers and leaves to it. First, I'm gonna arrange all of them to see how high or low I want them to hang. I don't want them to hang right next to each other. I want them to hang a little higher and a little lower as I go so that they don't run into each other when they're trying to spin around on the mobile. Once I have them all lined up, I'm going to tie each string to the stick, and then I'm going to put a little dot of Elmer's glue on to the knot. When this dries, it'll help keep the knot from untying itself. I still put a double knot in the string to make sure it's tied real tight, and the glue is just an extra safety. After I'm done tying on all the strings, I'm gonna snip the extra yarn off the end. I'm still gonna leave a little tail so it doesn't untie itself, but I'll cut it pretty close. Then I'm gonna take a long piece of yarn and tie it to each end of this stick, just like this, and then see how it hangs and tie a knot in the middle of the string. Tying the knot in the middle of the string that goes across the top makes it much easier to hook on to things to hang up and display your beautiful mobile. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing the mobile that you make.